Welcome to yet another musical adventure in time travel. Today I'm going to do a performance of one of my favourite tunes of all time. Um, this incredible ancient harp. Um, this type of harp, an arched harp, very archaic, is the type of harp played since the earliest times in, in, in antiquity, way back um, even before the old kingdom of ancient Egypt, um, over 4,500 years ago. Um, the very first illustration of a harp um, was sketched on um, some rock cave about, and that dates back to at least 5,000 years. Um, I think that was in the Negev, Negev Desert somewhere. Um, incredible. And even, say, in this very early stage, it was completely formed, complete with resonator, harmonic curves and everything. So the, the actual harp predates the lyre by thousands of years, um, presumably first evolving from the basic musical bow, um, probably way back in the Neolithic, who knows? Incredible stuff. Um, this harp is actually still played today. Um, the, the ancient archaic arched harp is still played today um, in parts of Africa. This is actually called the Adungu and it's still played um, in Uganda. Incredible, um, the continent of Africa, where the actual instruments of antiquity are still being played, uh, presumably arriving there in the first place through ancient trade routes from Mesopotamia. Incredible. Uh, anyway, back to um, the melody I'm going to be playing. This incredible melody um, is basically the oldest surviving piece of written music which can be interpreted and which can be performed. Um, it's called um, the Hurrian Hymn, text H6. Um, there were 29 Hurrian hymns discovered um, on, written on various clay tablets, but only text H6 could be interpreted because it survived in a sufficient form to allow um, for academic interpretation. Unfortunately, there are many interpretations of text H6. Um, one of the earlier ones was Professor Anne Kilmer, I think I've pronounced that right. Um, it has always sounded kind of odd, um, but according to Professor Richard Dumbrell, um, she kind of made a bit of a botch up because um, instead of thinking the, the notation in the, the, the archaic cuneiform of the Hurrian language was about um, an ascending scale, as she thought it was, apparently it was a descending scale. I'm not a musicologist myself, as you can probably tell, um, but... Um, Dr. Richard Dumbrell is, and you can check out his own YouTube video where he actually describes how he um, deciphered the Hurrian hymn text H6. Incredible stuff. Uh, anyway, um, if you want the actual written music to um, the Hurrian hymn, you can find it on a website by um, Clint Goss for the um, Native American flute. Just Google search it and it will pop up. Um, really nice arrangement of um, Dr. Dumbrell's interpretation of the hymn. Amazing stuff. Um, to hear a studio version of my own um, arrangement of, for um, Hurrian Hymn Text H6 on Lyre, um, I've done two recordings of it. Um, one on my album An Ancient Lyre, available from iTunes, and also my latest compilation album um, featuring all the tracks the best of the tracks from my 10 albums of Ancient Lion Music. That's called um, Ancient Landscapes, and again, that's on iTunes, Amazon, and also CD Baby. That's all the plugs out of the way with Let the Music Speak for Itself, Hurrian Hymn, Text H6. An amazing legacy of the ancient world. Um, oh, yes, one more thing about the Hurrians. Who were the Hurrians? Their civilization dates way, way back, about 3000 BC, before the pyramids were built. Um, the Hurrian hymns date right to the very end of the Hurrian civilization, um, just before it was wiped out, um, let's say about 1400 BC. Um, the, the clay tablets were found in Ugarit, um, which is now part of modern Syria, but in 1400 BC it was part of northern Canaan. Um, the Hurrians, as I say, ruled quite a lot of the ancient Near East for a, lo a large part of time. Um, from about 3000 BC up to around 1400 BC. Um, but 
I think they originally came from, I uh, can pronounce this in my Dutch Scouse accent, um, An Anatolia, which is in part of modern day Turkey. I'm sure some academic boffins out there can pronounce, <laughs> can um, correct me on my pronunciation of that. <laughs> anyway, that's to digress a bit. All details to round off um, can be found in the historical research section of my frankly amazing website, um, www.ancientliar.com. Enjoy the musical adventure in time travel to come. Bye for now.